guys, you know what? I'm pretty thirsty. I got some cocoa right here. Oh, don't you know that's bad for your teeth? That's just a myth. Oh, then let's test it. so that can't be bad for you. Or Gary, my coach gives it to me. It can't be bad for your teeth. Well, how are we gonna test all this? Hmm, I don't know. Come on guys, let's go to the lab. Welcome to our Mythbusters lab, where we will be testing which of the five liquids will be more harmful to the teeth. What do you mean by more harmful to the teeth? I think it means like tooth erosion, where it can cause cavities or take away part of your tooth enamel. Interesting. For this experiment, we will be using raccoon's teeth. We will soak them in each of our five different liquids. Our five liquids are Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, apple juice, Gatorade, and our control variable, water. What we will do is we will weigh every tooth individually before we put them in their liquids. Then, after about two weeks' time, we will take them out of their liquids and weigh them again. We will calculate the weight difference, and this will help us determine which liquid has the most effect on teeth. It's when it's short. Oh, wow. But well, this is going to be the, probably the heaviest. I don't know. That's a heavy tooth. 2.759. And there we go. Seal it back up. And there we go. Gatorade. <laughs> that tooth is going to be stained blue. Probably. Welcome back to our myth lab where we have carefully weighed all of the teeth and then we have soaked them in their appropriate liquids. I think the liquid with the most effect will be Coke because it has 65 grams of sugar. What do you think? Well, you have a point, but I think Gatorade might have it because it has all these different electrolytes and stuff, and it also has a lot of sugar. Hi, Zeke. After the two weeks of the teeth being in their liquids, we've had some unexpected, delicious-looking things. Are you still thirsty? <laughs> we will start by taking the tooth out of our control variable water. I will now weigh the tooth that was submerged in the water. Ugh, it smells bad. Oh my god. He smells bad. Oh. <laughs> It is 2.637 grams. It's not. See? Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, it's eat up. <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew. Ew, 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 ew. It's like a bugger. You mean drink up. Yeah. <clears throat> now that you guys have all been waiting for it, we're ready for the code tooth. Everybody thought Coke could be the worst, but we'll see. Uh, well, this tooth definitely looks darker than, than all the, the other teeth. Than all the other teeth. On it's all got sides. some gooey stuff on it. It's definitely um, just dark on all sides. We're gonna pat it, it down here we're instead just of gonna dry it. Half. We noticed that on every tooth, this section here was not colored, but you can see clearly on this tooth that the whole tooth is colored. Like it's time to wrap things up. The results are in. And our myth is... Plausible! Because after we have reviewed our data, some of the teeth have lost weight, some of them have not lost any at all, and some have even gained weight. After research, we do know that teeth are affected by soda. They, it can cause cavities. Our teeth were not affected in weight, but they were heavily affected in color. 
The problem could have been that we didn't soak them for a longer period of time and it could have affected the teeth even more.